Hey, what's going on guys? Mike here with Black Rifle Coffee Company on Pro Tips. Today we're talking about the truck gun. Well, to talk about the truck gun, you really have to talk about the way in which you're gonna carry your truck gun. And I want you to be secure, I want you to be safe, and I don't want you to just have guns and rifles flopping around inside of your rig. So I've looked at a couple bags of recent to carry my truck gun, and I came across this bag. So this bag was designed by a guy I know in my OGA contracting days, who actually served with me and Evan. And he made these bags for us for our particular job. Now, man, I'm not, a, I'm, I'm actually not a big bag guy. I'm not a big kit guy. I, I had a lot of companies in special operations give us a lot of bags and I used a lot of them, but wasn't really a fan and drawn into one specific bag. Like I use Kafaru bags for hunting. I use Ebro stock bags for carrying rifles. Um, I use Vertex bags for low vis stuff, um, including configurations like carrying a truck gun. So I wanted to look at this particular setup because I like the sleekness of it, but I also like the ability to use a bag for a specific reason. This bag was tailored for that specific re reason. This bag was designed by a company called Nomadic Research. And yeah, let's take a look at it. So I haven't really gone through the bag in detail. I just kind of put it together for this video, but I'm already starting to see things that I recognize from my old contracting days. That makes sense to me. So let's pull out this side of it. And you'll see down in here, oh yeah. So um, if you're carrying this bag and it's, a, and it's configured with your pistol or every to carry here, you can access this because you have the ability to Oh. So in this case, it has these accessory pieces um, that have Velcro, but it has like an elastic, um, elastic material that allows you some flexibility. So you can go from pistols, uh, even sub guns, and then Velcro it into this felt, soft felt material to be able to carry your pistols or low vis stuff. Um, I like that. Um, I, I don't think I'd use it that way. Um, because I carry my pistol on my person, but from my old job, I, I, I get that. Um, it has cool side pouches, which are cool for carrying um, a whole bunch of stuff. Has accessible pouches here. Has a pouch on top. Let's look at the meat of this. I like saying that out loud. Um, wow, I didn't even know it went down all the way. I was just wondering. Okay, so yeah, if it's unclipped, then it could go all the way open. This is my favorite part of this bag. So, this. All right, this is my favorite part of this particular bag. Now, um, what's cool about this sleeve is it's built for the truck gun in mind. This is my 300 Blackout, um, made by BCM. Um, this, I believe, um, it, based on my testing and evaluation of truck setups, including the ability for it to collapse and conceal um, with this particular barrel, uh, this law tactical folder, 20 round magazine, um, is the most bang you get for the buck and for the signature. I want it to be small and concealable. So this is an AR pistol, but I got 30 cal, I got 300 blackout that allows me to effectively affect the targets outside of my vehicle. Imagine you're shooting through glass with a pistol moving at 900 to 1300 feet per second. That is not enough uh, weight, muzzle velocity, and foot pounds of energy to affect the target on the other side. Uh, if you take a pistol caliber like nine millimeter and shoot it out of a pistol from inside your car to affect the, the target outside, it's likely it's not even going to hit the target. I, I do this for a living. I train this routinely. I just did a demo 
where I showed nine mil pistol rounds from being shot inside the vehicle, you, I didn't even hit the target that was 15 yards away. You add 300 blackout, the increased muzzle velocity anywhere between 110 grain to 147 grain, you're gonna smash that target. And I like smashing targets. So this is small in form factor, but a powerhouse to get away with some of those terminal ballistics. This is my truck gun. It has a Razor AMG by Vortex. This uh, has a full Picatinny rail, um, has the Law Tactical folder set up that collapses all the way in. And I don't run, I don't run a sling on this particular setup. Okay. Now it, this is sitting inside the pouch and in the pouch, I have bona fides. I have universally, this says I'm friendly or American at least. Uh, that's something I've always done for, for, for most of my kit. This has an additional 20 round mag. Uh, this is a surefire light. I'm going to give you nomenclature, but I think it's the uh, P1. It says D on it though. Um, but a surefire light handheld and then attack med solutions soft T wide. So what's cool about this, if I need to transition this to a kit or plate carrier, I can. And this is the perfect setup and balance for me to keep inside of my bag, inside of my vehicle. A lot of people argue about this. They go, why would you ever carry a carbine inside of your vehicle? And I would ask the same question of, um, why would you change the type of platform you use inside of your home? Every single application requires a tool. If we're talking about efficiency or proficiency uh, and having the tactical advantage, I don't want to take away my tactical advantage. I want to add to my tactical advantage. You are not at a tactical advantage with a truck gun that is a pistol inside of your vehicle. You have still doors that you have to contend with. You have glass, uh, in, including tempered and laminated glass that's going to grossly affect your terminal ballistics. So you need to take those things into consideration. Your everyday carry pistol or that end all be all solution doesn't exist. It's not like, hey Mike, what's the best pistol? Well, what are we talking about? Because it's everyday carry, that's completely different than home defense. If it's home defense, that's completely different than considerations inside of a vehicle and defending my life or my family's life. Guys, I just wanted to show you that because I think a lot of people uh, think I just want you to have this sitting inside of your vehicle, like laying on the floorboard. No, 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 no. Uh, there's several bags that I use depending on where I'm going. Kafaru, Vertex, Ebrostock, or Nomadic Research, depending on where I'm going. Rural, urban, outdoors, leaving it in my vehicle versus not. Even the type of vehicle that I have. I'm not leaving a multicam, a black multicam nomadic research bag in my Jeep because I could quickly, rapidly see it, cut it open, and get into the uh, cab to get that bag. But if it's my Land Cruiser, which is more robust and more difficult to break into, yeah, for sure, that's what I'm doing. If you carry a notebook, a, an Apple um, a laptop, uh, whatever you carry that's high and, exp and expensive inside of your vehicle, if you do that, well, this is comparable in price point. Why would you not carry this? I want the tactical advantage and I want the best opportunity for myself to defend my life and my family's life. And this is my option. This is this is my choice. Here it is. Till next time, guys, PhilCraftSurvival.com, BRCC Pro Tips. Peace out. <laughs>